one thing that we try to pick up every year is lessons learned. When we were heading out to go to the hurricane last year in Florida, this trailer that we're standing in is, we call it the original sleeping trailer. And the original sleeping trailer has an 80 kW generator in the back that powers the whole camp. Well, it has this refrigerator and a deep freeze that we utilize with our food, our frozen food and our uh, cold food, as well as another refrigerator trailer that we have that in. Well, as we were going down, the night before as we were staging, we had a failure of the alternator. And about three hours out, the uh, generator quit. Caleb, pull upside that old sleeper trailer and see if the lights are on on the side, the big lights. Floodlights. No, they're not. Hey, Barker. Go ahead. Yeah, they're not burning. Well, if the generator quits, our rack of a gear, our refrigeration, it goes away in this trailer. Well, one thing we had done to get kind of ready for that is we had uh, passed Victron and Battleborn, not sponsored, but hey guys, hit me up. One of the things we decided to do in that year is we did two Battleborn batteries at 24 volts, 50 amp hours. It was enough to run both refrigeration systems for 48 hours. Well, then the Motorola guys learned of it and they wanted their server, their SAN storage area network, repeaters, Wi-Fi, cradle point, cellular to modems, Starlink. So all that stuff got backed up and we ended up with about a thousand watt dissipated load. So those two batteries only gave us about two and a half hours of runtime. So we started thinking about that. For this season, we added four more of those batteries. So today we have 300 amps, 24 volts. We've got quite a lot of capacity now. And now, even with this rack pulling nearly 800 watts, each of the refrigerator and freezers pulling about 300 watts, we can get to a dissipated load of like 1.3 kW. But now we can run for eight to 10 hours, depending on the duty cycle of the refrigeration unit. We really like the Victron stuff. We have a multi-plus compact, which is a 24 volt inverter. We have a little monitor in here where we can rate the current. See right now you're at 10 hours. There's the voltage, there's the amp draw, there's the dissipated watts. You know, it's kind of designed for an RV, a 50 amp RV, where you can then scroll down the amount of current that this thing is pulling. So you could hook it up to a short cord at 15 amps or 10 amps. It won't pull more than that and then it'll reach back to the batteries and then when it's not using that much power, it'll charge the battery. So it gives us a lot of flexibility, so we have that. But when I put it to zero, it basically puts this into the inverter mode and you notice none of the equipment quit, the refrigeration stayed up, it's a zero blink kind of transition. And now you see our battery capacity just went to 99% and we can see that we have at this amount of drawdown, we're, we're gonna have 16 hours of capacity. Now I can look at this other little unit and I can see that if we're only pulling 700 watts, so we get 15 hours. So if everything was on at zero duty cycle, would be somewhere around eight hours. But this gives us eight to 12 hours so that when we're going into theater, even if we lose the generator en route, our food stays safe, our communication stays up. Uh, this contains a repeater so that while we're in our convoy, we can talk from the front to the back. So it just gives us a way that our team can stay connected. Some folks have been asking for a little bit more of a technical upgrade, but that kind of shows some of the capacity that we've added into these trailers and the redundancy getting ready for the 23 hurricane season.